Yeah, well, everybody hear me okay? Voice check? Yeah, okay. Uh, let's see, I don't have a ton of updates because I've been on vacation since the previous third party viewer meeting, <laughs> my first day back. Uh, but uh, I guess I can tell you what little I know. Um, we are looking at the, for our next promotion, uh, we're looking at the CEF update viewer as a possibility. Um, that's out in RC now and seems to be seems to be working pretty well for folks um so we'll be we've got a couple folks on vacation today but we'll be talking about it on monday and we'll kind of see where you want to go from there uh, a few other uh, projects are in decent shape for coming out as rcs and we'll be working on trying to get those out um the notarization viewer uh is in pretty good shape that's that's the one for getting um getting rid of those annoying warnings on Mac. Um, and the cache, uh, the simplified cache viewer, um, I th think is also in decent shape. There were a couple of bugs on that that uh, Callum was working on. Um, but if the, whenever those are fixed, we can uh, try to get that out as an RC. Um, and we also have the, the latest mate viewer out as an RC now. Uh, let's see, projects a little farther down the line, we have um, a 360 viewer that lets you save panoramas um, that's coming along well, but uh, uh, it's going to be a, a little while before it actually comes out. Um, let's see, anything else I'm forgetting? Yeah, let's see. Yeah, we've got some fears in development. Um, go a little farther away from RC. At some point, we're going to be putting out a project viewer with uh, the changes to uh, LOD generation. This is this is using the Mesh Optimizer library as the default for um, automatic LOD generation in Mesh upload. It works quite a bit better than the GLOD thing that we've been using for the last several years. Um, so we'll put out, at least in the project viewer, we'll, you'll be able to pick either one. Um, uh, we may or may not keep GLOD in the long term. If, if we don't get anybody saying that it's better for their cases, we may just, uh, we may just drop it or we may just change it to be a non-default option if people are interested in still having it around. Um, don't have any current plans for doing anything with that in real time. Um, the the first thing we want to do is just get it out as a uh, as an updated, uh, you know, as an improved behavior in in mesh upload. Um, the, the, there's a the larger question of what to do about the content that doesn't have LODs now, and if there's you know, reasonable things we could be doing with that by default, but uh, that's a discussion for for later. Legacy profiles. Um. Uh, let's see. Legacy profiles. We has. Let's see what is going on with that. There, there are some additional changes we wanted to do that required. Uh, work on the back end. There's a couple of new caps that are needed. Um, so uh, I'm, I'm hoping that we can get uh, some, some resources on that and get that out as an update, but it will depend on uh, simulator changes as well. So the, the schedule there will be more complicated. Uh, Ryder, do you know anything about the plans for the back end work for, for supporting the legacy profiles? We we don't we don't really have that queued yet. Okay. So there's a there's a tools update that on on the back end that needs to come in first, and then so and then some uh, work on a shape up. 
Okay, well thanks. Yeah, sorry folks, I know you've been waiting on this one for a while, but uh, it looks like it is going to be a bit longer before we can get that updated. Uh, let's see, what else is going on? Uh, I think that's most of it there. Um, 360 viewer, we've got the... Uh, we've got the, the we've got a viewer with uh, improved performance controls, combining some some uh, settings from very different places, and adding a uh, sort of real-time updates to to frame rate. So it's kind of a one-stop shop for for tweaking your setup to get your best performance. Um, and I think that'll also probably be ready for a or a uh, project viewer in the not too distant future. Yeah, uh, I've, I've seen some discussion about the um, about the proposals for AOs. Um, interested in continuing that. Don't have anything really new from that uh, from the last couple of weeks, but uh, you know, we continue the discussion. And I think that's it uh, on on our end. Oh, Reddard, uh, another question for you. I, I know that we're working on um, a simulator update that will let us finally fix the strange environment issues on mainland. Uh, do you know how that, close that is? That actually should be going to SLS on Tuesday. It's already oh, on nice. RC. So do we have a plan for uh, actually pushing out the change to the regions then, or is that uh, still TBD? Uh, I think the I think that the actually throwing the switch is is TBD. Um, yeah, throwing throwing the switch is TBD uh, as far as mainland goes, but the command to do it is open to to everyone. So, so once uh, that's out in SLS, so, anybody who wants to make changes to their own, it's an to, estate to level anyone, thing, right? Anyone that wants to change their own estate is is free to do it. Yeah. All right. So what's everybody else up to?
A uh, question about introducing VR usage. We don't have any currently active project for that. Um, I know it's something that a lot of people would like to see. The, the biggest problem from our perspective is that we don't really have any strong guarantees on frame rate. Um, and I, as, as I'm sure you know, to, to get uh, uh, you know acceptable VR performance that doesn't make people dizzy, you really need to have a you know steady 60 FPS or something for rendering. Um, so it would be a uh, there's a lot of kind of prior work that would have to take place before we could really uh, tackle VR. Um, so it's not something that we have going on right now. Uh, I'm not sure if I understand the question about online SL Go UI passed back. Um, I mean, I know we had a project to support uh, on live several years ago, but it's uh, I don't think that's uh, uh, currently a thing. Uh, there's a question a little while back about having standard regions with fashion avatars in them. I'm, I'm not sure who that was directed at. Um, that's that's kind of a hole in our current test setup. We don't really have a, a way to sort of reproducibly have a, a fixed set of avatars in a in a given region. Um, so uh, we we can't really set that up right now. But it is uh, it is something we'd like to be able to do for kind of standardized performance testing at some point.
Yeah, uh, I'm not sure about Steam support. I think that's probably an area that requires kind of business level discussions.
I did a few fixes in that area, Whirly, um, a while ago. And unfortunately, that bit of code is a, a Byzantine mess. Um, it really is. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and and the only way to a, a new cap to replace the new cap that caused the problems. Uh, well, <laughs> um, well, no, the the there is no old cap. It was a change from the UDP into a cap. And uh, the uh, the the result. It used to work before the cap because yes, it, yes, it used to work before the cap. But no, it, it it's a it's a case where at the at this point I need to sit down to yeah, type faster rider. Um, it's a it's a uh, case at this point where I need to uh, actually just sit down and top to bottom redesign the whole thing. Yeah, there's the region objects floater, and then if you look into um, also if you do a bill and then pathfinding, there's a couple of different things. Uh, there's region objects, and then there's characters, and those show somewhat different subsets of the things in the scene. Um, or characters, I think, are things that have pathfinding enabled. Um, I think there's some holes in that, like there's some types of objects that don't show up in either of those floaters, um, but that's uh, that's all we currently have that I know of. Does it only work for your own objects? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I can see, I can see objects owned by other people, but that could be, uh, that could be because of a privileged character. I'm not sure. That's not a great design then. Usually the stuff that requires special proofs also requires you to explicitly request uh, admin status. Otherwise it just makes it harder to test if your experience is a lot different. Okay, so it does show some objects not owned by, by you.
Yeah, somewhere in the in the depths of our possible future work, I think there's a I think there's an updated cap that does a better job of getting the uh, object info for the region, but we don't have any UI for it. I can't promise anything about how soon we're going to get to look at it, though. There is. I think Coyote did that a while back. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 Invisible Dragons. All right. All right, anything else? Otherwise, we can dismiss early and everybody can go play Frisbee. Okay, well, thanks, Kitty. Um, yeah, I, I've got to dredge up the Jiras for that. Uh, been a long time since anybody's looked at the cap, but as far as I know, it's still it's still there doing its thing. Um, probably not going to get a chance to look at it right away, but I'll at least make a note. Yeah, the physical objects may be the ones that uh, that originally motivated us to to fix the cap in the first place. There was there was some subset that wasn't uh, wasn't showing up. Actually, I think it was the opposite. There was a a group of objects that weren't disappearing. Something would get deleted and not uh, not reported to the viewer. The, uh, yeah, I don't know. That might be an issue too. The the original reason I filed the Invisible Dragons was because we had uh, we had Animesh dragons in the uh, in one of the Animesh test regions, and I mean they weren't deleted. They were they were definitely there and and visible, but they didn't show up in any of the uh, region object displays. Hmm. Okay. But there may be other other buggy cases too. Yeah, we, we, we are actually seeing a case where certain uh, certain objects the viewer still knows about, but the simulate uh, they never uh, the the simulator has dropped them from the interest list, uh, so that so the viewer never gets a delete for them. So I assume that's a temporary thing. If you re-log, those will go away. Oh, if you right-click the thing, it goes away. Yeah. Okay. If you if you turn away and and look back, it it won't be there.
Yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty much. Basically, anytime the the anytime the viewer would confirm the object with with the simulator, the simulator says, "I don't know, what, I don't know what you're talking about." Uh, the viewer then gets rid of it. So okay. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to run off. Uh, thanks for coming, everybody, and we will talk to you next time. Nice weekend, guys. All right. Thank you all.